it's Jill with Crickflex, and I had promised I was going to do all these things this weekend, and so far I'm not doing real good. But right now, I, I filmed these before, but I'm going to do these a little bit different. What these are, are these, what these are, are, um, let me first of all cut and get this stick out of the way a little bit. There we go. Um, these are butterfly that are cut out in all of the these little slices here and then a heart that was made by just you know what actually Jenna did this and I'm not sure how she did made the heart or if she found it like that in one of our clip art but anyway these are centerpieces that I'm going to show how I put to get put them together and a little bit of the stick no matter where I put it is going to show when you have something this tall and this frail you want to make sure that you get as much enforced with wood as you possibly can because otherwise they're going to flap like this. So, what I'm going to be using to finish them up after I put the one long peg in here, right down the center, a little bit, bit of it showing here, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that. And the rest of it's going to be done in little wood skewers. They're real thin, so they will fit about anywhere. And that's what I need because I need to make sure that this is really reinforced so it doesn't flop around. So I'm going to put one down the body here. I could have brought the stick up higher, but it was my choice not to. Don't remember why I chose that route, but right in here I've got a little bit of a space. I don't know if it's going to move there though. I don't think it is. I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to do my best not to throw these sticks everywhere. Okay. I'm just going to find some different areas where I can fit these little sticks and reinforce them a bit when I put the two pieces back together. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog in my throat. It's going to be that time of the year. Uh, a little update on my mother. We took her out Friday night to dinner, and it went fantastic. I am so, so thrilled to say that she is doing better. Um, in her eyes, not so much, but the agitation and the aggressive behavior and the paranoia, the illusions, all of that, it appears that we've got her, I shouldn't say we, I take zero credit for it, but it appears that the medications are starting to or have been helping her a lot. Um, there is no cure for dementia, However, uh, there are things ca that can be prescribed that will help as, as they de digress into this. I don't know. It, it is, uh, I, I said it on my last video, whenever that was, I don't even remember. But one of the worst diseases, um, I just, it, it, it is so unbelievably sad. And yesterday when we were out, when my mother was living with us, she was not very happy a lot of the times because she missed her friends and she missed family, her brothers, and, and because we moved her out of town. And she, she started, I didn't know, and this is kind of telling folks that, that take care or help with the elderly elderly parents or grandparents and there are certain signs of something's not quite right. Uh, dementia, I think, is very, very, very common. Alzheimer's. Um, and the older they get, I, I do believe that the, the, and I could be wrong, the one thing I do know for sure is it is hereditary or genetic or my um, grandmother had it and and now my mother has it. And my daughter has been researching on how to, what the best things are to do to hold it at bay as long as you can. And um, I'm hoping I have my father's genes. Uh, he's 91, going to be 92 or 90, I don't know what he is, but still drives, still, still hunts, deer hunts, fishes, does everything. Um... I'm praying to God that I have his genes because I, I want to live to be a hundred, guys. There I said it. 
I mean, I do. I love life. And I, I want every bit of it that God's willing to give me. You know, I'm not going to know, nor do I want to know. I'm going to enjoy every day as it comes. But when we were out with my mother, one of the reasons that we made the decision that it was time that she had to, be, we didn't have a choice but to move her, is because the dementia was getting worse and the aggression was getting very, very bad. And um, it was very hard on my husband to watch because we do know that dementia is, it, it is an illness. And when things happen, you know, my natural reflex as a human is to get mad. And you can't get mad. Um, it, it's just, it, it serves no purpose to get mad. She did not know what she was doing. But she was getting very agitated when everybody would come over, the noise, the commotion. If everybody, if anybody went down, one of the grandkids went down to her room, which up until she moved in was our family room where all the kids' toys and everything were. And so as time went on, um, she got where she didn't want them. And I understand, but I also understand my grandkids. That was, they're little, they're, they're, they're babies, and that's where all their toys were. I don't have room to put them all over any place else. But it was getting very, very hard and starting to affect my own family life. So we made the decision, um, which she also, at the time, um, knew what was going on. That was what was very hard for her. She knew what was going on with, with her um, failing health. And she also believed that it was the right thing to do because she did not want anything any, to be sort of any sort of burden for my, my family. But um, she said when we went out to eat um, was that it was ruckus everywhere. I didn't go all of my family. We said we're going to do one family a week because it's too much for her. For all 22 of us out there, it, it's just too much. So I said one family at a time. So we went with my oldest daughter on, on Friday and there was chaos with the three kids, you know, um, trying to play these games on the table and not, not paying attention when the waiter came and just the normal things of small kids. And I expected my mother to say, um, to be agitated, because that's just how she always was. And she leaned over and said to me, this is what I miss most. And I said, this chaos? And she said, yes. And I said, it always drove you nuts when you lived with us. And she said, she said, you don't know what you have until you have, no longer have it. And it was very profound coming from her. She had a very, very good night. She remembered names. I showed her a picture of my brother-in-law's little grandson, and she first thing she said, is that Asher? And so she was having an exceptionally good, good night, knew what was going on and everything. And when she said that, it um, the one thing is it made me feel really bad because it isn't an option to move her back. She she is declining, and she requires 24 our day care. I just, I can't. Um, but she's only five minutes away. She's just a few miles down the road. And, but it did make me feel bad, but yet it made me feel glad that she had those two years. Uh, whether we should have moved out or not, she had two years. And she was happy. Um, for the first year, I knew she was extremely happy. But until she started to decline, is when she started to not be quite so happy. But anyway, guys, that's my update on her. She's doing better. I know a lot of you ask, and a lot of you have been sending prayers my way, and you have no idea how, how much I appreciate it and how much I feel beloved. I, I just, you guys have been amazing, amazing. Um, there's a thing that came into my Facebook today, and it was about sending this. Oh, it was about women. It had nothing to do with it. I forget what I was just going to say. I can't remember anyway. Um, look at how many sticks I have on this. It's a ridiculous amount. These particular pieces are not easy to do. Uh, I'm just telling you straight up, they are not easy. They are a lot 
of work um, because of all the intricate cuts on them. But yeah, do what you do, right? There we go. I'm going to find the one that goes on the back. Now this is where the challenge begins is because if this is not lined absolutely perfect, I'm going to have a nightmare. And I'm not up for that. So I'm going to kind of lay it out there. And I know it's absolutely perfect. And I'm going to show you. Now you can't tape them up, up in one spot and then go back and, and work from the bottom and then the top. You can only you can only glue the top or the bottom, or you're not going to be able to fold it back as you glue it. So, don't be ver don't be inventing shortcuts on this because you will make it where they don't match, uh, or you're not be able to get in there and glue it. That's what I meant to say. Sorry about that. Um, what else is new? My husband's out of town for soccer. Um, he put a new doorbell in our front door that I absolutely love because it's a camera. I can see who's at the door. If I can't answer the door, it has a speaker where I can answer it and, and either say, don't need it, come back another day, um, whatever, and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So, so I went out and got one and I said, do you need to do the backyard? So I can always be watching if the kids are out there saying they're playing on the four-wheelers that they're not anywhere near the pool. So. We'll see if that gets done anytime soon. A um, couple new things uh, with with work. I did. I promised, and this is you, Kelly, and and who else has been writing me? Numerous people. What? Somebody wrote me the today. So that's the one that's fresh on the top of my head about the scrapbooking. I made right here. I have a stack. This stack is scrapbook layouts. There's probably 10 of them here. It's all the background papers, all the elements. Uh, the problem is, is I went with the theme because Shannon, you did a paper, uh, the background, 12 by 12 sheets of paper that would go with this My Little Pony. And I decided to do all of them and because I love the papers. So I'm going to put on here Shannon's information, um, who is doing the digitals, and I love uh, the fact that you can get, there's a lot in there, because you got your background papers, and it's really cool. But I thought I would try and look through and see if I could see some pictures that uh, would kind of go with the theme of My Little Pony. As all of My Little Pony and one's a uh, animal, which I'm going to use for a Disney uh, Animal Kingdom. But other than that, I don't have any pictures printed out that go with that that theme. But the one that's in charge of doing the scrapbook layouts is me. So. I have, guys, I said I had 800 pictures printed out. I'd forgotten about the, I don't know how many pictures I had printed out last year when my daughter got married. Um, I tried to kill two birds with one stone. I made her an album, her and her husband, for a uh, wedding gift. Um, I had done their wedding layout. But while I was printing out pictures, I printed out pictures of my grandkids for the year. So, when I started to pull out what I wanted to scrapbook, I have Disney in there. I've got just the year of events when they went camping in the mountains, and I got the year before swimming, and I have so many, and I've got to figure out now what pictures I'm going to put in there. So what I may end up doing is not putting pictures in them at all, and just do a layout and leave the little whatever areas blank. Um, I'll see. The photo mats. Just not put any photo mats on it. I, I haven't decided yet. But again, since these, I'm doing these books, if, if any of my kids have a complaint, I'll give them a link to a complaint department somewhere and they can complain all they want. And which I don't think they in their right mind would say anything. What else has been going on? Um, 
let's see here. Oh, I, I talked with Provocraft. Uh, I had, I met up with a lady um, in Michael's that was getting ready to buy a Cricut, and I heard her over the, over the wall. I was there doing some, some of my, uh, I don't know what they, what they call them, um, a haul is what I guess I was working on. But I overheard her, and and she was asking the, the lady that was waiting on her there, you know, which one she thought was better and whatever. Well, I feel as though I am probably moderately uh, up on the silhouette. Some might say more, but I'm not going to toot my own heart, so I'm going to go with moderate. So I rudely went over there, <laughs> and... Uh, Gave the lady the lowdown on both machines, and anyway, she ended up walking away with a a silhouette. And I gave her my website and said I have things there that will teach you from the onset. And then I had called Provercraft because I'm really, really not happy about the fact that they closed Cricket Craft Room. Um, I had 200 and I don't know how many of my cartridges linked there. And they closed it, and, they, and when I talked to them, I was, I was asking, because um, all I want is access to use my, my cartridges, which, uh, you know what, it just dawned on me. I know how I, I know, so I don't have a, anyway, not, I, I'm just annoyed by that, because I spent a lot, a lot, a lot on Provocraft, because that's all I used to use. So my conversation with them was uh, via a chat with them. And I told them how upset I was at the fact that I had spent all this money on machines. And I mean, it went back to the day when they used to have the jukebox, if anybody remembers that, you know, where it would fit six cartridge, cartridges in it, and you could just push the button of whichever one you were going to use and hook them all up at the same time. And I got nine of those things because that was about the time I was starting my business. So I had those and three gypsies. And, I mean, anything they made, I had. And I explained to them about the whole deal with the Imagine. They came out with that one. And it happened to coincide with the same time that the Silhouette Cameo came out. So that kind of explains why it went down the tubes within a year. But in that year, I had owned three machines because they all broke. It's a piece of junk machine. But I needed them because I had bought all of the cartridges. And those cartridges were not cheap. So I got into her, not into it with her, it wasn't her fault by any stretch, but um, did express my, my um, feelings about the fact that they got rid of the cricket. And then she went on about the new craft room that they have. Well, that's fine and dandy. However, um, you have to pay for it every month. So anybody who asks me between the cameo and the, the cricket, finding out that you have to pay to use the cricket a month, depending on how many images you were going to use. You have a cutting span of eight by eight, which is the max. Um, I asked her about that update because they've been talking about since the machine machine came out, the Explorer, and that this was going to to um, be happening where it wasn't going to have a larger area to cut. That was nearly two years ago. Uh, if anybody were to ask me. I think the Cricut machine cut beautiful. Um, there's all sorts of things about it that I absolutely loved when I had it. Would I use it again? No. Would I recommend anybody buy one? No. No. They have, they, I worked in internet support for 17 years and um, watch things with all the upgrades and, and just the people calling and being upset because, oh, I knew how I found out to get rid of that glue with those glue strings so with my heat gun. Anyway, um, I knew about all these upgrades. Microsoft I, um, upgrades constantly. One of the reasons that I went with uh, went and switched to Apple, I don't use anything but Apple, is working in tech support for all those years, I learned. Um, I don't know if I want to call it the hard way, but I learned that support is very important 
when you're getting something is what kind of tech support you're going to get if something happens. I'm going to use the heat gun to get rid of these pieces of glue. And I don't remember who told me to do that, but you're brilliant. I don't know if somebody, I don't know, but somebody told me just take the hot glue, the, the hot air gun, and they'll shrink away. And that's exactly what it does. It's awesome. Okay. I am putting on, I did these little pant, these little pop, posies, pons, posy, posies, in purple. I cut them out and then I took a glue stick like this and I just wrapped my flower around the glue stick like that. And then there we had it. I had it curled. I wanted it curled so it kind of gave it more dimension and I'm using pop dots to put it on. Um, there's another thing that I was going to say that I forgot. And so I probably will end up having to print out more of these because I do not like any of the stick showing when I make something. So you only can do so much. Because it is what I, this one I'm going to glue on right directly to this stick. I do not like that showing. But I do like the airiness of these. So I don't want to make them solid at all. I'm going to be working on, my husband finally finished his garage, the floor and everything, and he's also finished his uh, shed. So, he has a place now to do his work that he is going to be joining forces with us. Um, it's going to be wood stuff. Okay, guys, these are cute. They're also going to have bling on them. I'm going to do the other side so I put these where those are. There was something else that I wanted to tell. Oh, somebody had told me to get this, this blade online. Um, the cemented carbide blade CCB for vinyl depended 55 pieces, 10 pieces. Um, anyway, it's, I'm going to show you and take it out of my machine. I ordered one and the first one that I ordered, the housing didn't fit in my, in my machine. So I left a bad review because it, it says it was for the cameo and portrait, any of the cameos. Well, it didn't fit. And I was not happy because I had all these blades and it didn't fit. So I mentioned it in one of my films. And somebody said, told me the housing I needed to get. And I got it. Came the other day and I used that blade to cut out all of this stuff. And I am blown out of the water how amazing that blade is. And they're supposed to last really long because of the material that they're made out of. Um, I don't even care. You get five blades in little packets like this. You get five. This one says it's got five pieces, ten pieces. So I don't have any idea um, if I can get the, <laughs> the box open. I think it's taped shut. I have to find one that's open. I end up with a lot of blades because I had to order the other housing. It comes with these little tiny springs. And here are the blades. And they remind me of the blades for the housing in the Cricut. They're, they're just about the exact same thing. Um, and here are the little itty bitty tiny blades. You probably can't see them very good. But I'm going to, I'm going to leave these out so I can remember. I want to tell you, intricate cuts and things like that. These blades, because of the material that they're made out of, which I just said and I'm repeating myself, are supposed to last a long time. Now, for me to guess what a long time is, I have no idea. But it's $15 for five blades. And the housing that I got, I ended up, when I went back and had to get the housing, the housing kit that I got was $24.99 for 15 blades and the housing that I needed. And normally, one blade that you buy for the silhouette 
is, is about that price. So I think that uh, because it can get very expensive, the, the mats that I buy, I get them on Amazon, and they're an off-brand. Uh, I will look it up, and, and I think I better write this down, guys, because you know I'm going to forget it. And I will tell you, we're gonna, I'm going to put the link for you, Shannon, and I'll put it in the notes. If I can't figure out how to put it in a banner going across my movie, I'm practicing, then I will put it in a note under the description in, in, in this video. And the blades, I will put where you can get those. And... Um, I forgot the other thing that I just told you. It was the blades. And I don't know. I remember I got my, my paper right there. Uh, Carol, this is for you. Yes, I do forget a lot. I really do. But I always have so much going on at the same time. So I have decided, my husband said, I've always been like this in the 44 years that we've been married. So I'm not going to be worrying about it. Because when I'm focused on one thing, I do just fine. It's when I'm trying to do too much at once, which is very common practice for me. I'm using some Recollections Bling on the actual body part of the butterfly right here. And do the top one. These are rope pieces and I love to work with them. They're they're awesome. A lot of times the individual piece they get so mundane to to put them on. You know, I have that little glue that I absolutely love because it's uh, comes out really fine. But for some reason, I don't know why, but it's decided to stick. Or, or get clogged with the pin in it. So I, I don't know what's wrong. And these I probably should be taken off with a tweezers. Um, guys, there were so many things that I wanted to ans answer because I had a lot of questions and, and I simply have been extremely... I don't know if it's <laughs> been that I've been so busy or now that the kids are back in school, it is taking a lot to get me pumped up to work. I get sidetracked with anything. And so uh, I've got to get I've got to get back in the habit of being productive during the day because I've been staying up at night again. I start to feel like my 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 jeep my what do you call them my productivity genes don't kick or my pro productive genes that's it not reproductive i'm not talking reproductive genes my productive genes my reproductive genes have done sailed they're long gone okay this one i don't want to have any waste on here at all so i'm going to use every piece and again these are recollections i love recollections i have one here and that little guy's got some buggy eyes. And one here. Now, I don't know how much of this you guys want to watch me do. I don't know how well you can see. Maybe I'll change, change the camera so it's a little bit closer. You can see it so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing here. Um, come here, little gun. I see a little more glue. They, these are a little, guys, I mean, it's, it, it, it's a fact. They're a little bit harder to do, um, to put together. I know that I'm going to have to do some more of these flowers. Because I do not like any of that showing. So, I'm going to finish one. I'm going to stop filming, and I may come back and film a little bit more just so you can hear me. Those that want to hear me go blah, 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 blah. You'll get enough of it. Because I mean, you don't like it. And somebody told me that I should make sure to tell everyone. Anyone who likes my video 
or who likes. Okay guys, I have no idea when my camera went off. I am so sorry, I don't know how much I missed. Anyway, this is how I got. I've got my butterfly covered with glitter and, and rhinestones. And I've got my flowers on anywhere that I could see any kind of a stick showing, which from the side you can see a little, there's, but there's nothing you can do about that. That's, it is what it is. When you're working with something this thin, the base that I'm going to use are boxes that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I or, actually ordered them online for my daughter for her wedding. I was going to make some arrangements. We ended up not having to use them. But um, these are things that I think would be adorable, stacked in different ways for centerpieces, for displaying um, numerous things. I'm going to be using it as a base. I've got a wood block in here that's been drilled out to hold it. So this little guy. So you have to make sure that your stick is covered long because it, it's got to fit inside here without shoving the, the butterfly in there. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to fill the box with purple shredded paper. Um, I have, now that school started and my husband built the shed and, and everything, we've been going through absolutely everything that we own, we've been going through. And, and getting rid of things we don't need. And um, I had things work-related under each bed in the room. I have the buds all on lifters, lifts, lifts, so they're higher off the ground. And I have boxes underneath that are full of things from my work. However, I don't realize what I have because I never see it. So... I am in the process of getting all of that and finding all of these awesome things that I didn't realize I had. So, I don't want the camera to run out again. I'm going to get these put together, and then I will get some pictures up. And I'm hoping that when the camera died, I didn't miss anything of importance. Thanks a lot for watching, and up until the next one.